Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are in episode 34, 35, something like that. Um, today I am taking a break from putting geostationary satellites up. I put a couple up off camera just to see um, what we could do, but um, decided to um, take a break from that and try a, uh, a mission to the moon. Uh, we have here our um, new heavy launch vehicle since we unlocked uh, our main sails. We've got five main sails on the bottom. Ah, the moon's right overhead. There's our, uh, there's something. I don't know what that is. What is that? That must be leftover junk. Um, it's not geostationary, whatever it is. Um, we have here our... Um, our Inley Kerman. We have our heavy launch vehicle. Probably overkill for going to the moon, but it'll allow us to get all this science. We've got our science junior here with all of its stuff. We got a, um, a, a service bay with various bits and pieces in it. So um, that will be a nice science back so we can actually um, unlock some more parts. I don't think we need to get the big relay dish among other things. So we're going to um, head on up now and see what happens. Oh, we should probably close that. Oh, crap. Close, close, close. Here we go. Okay. Let's bring down our throttle a little there. All right. There should be a plenty of fuel to get there and back. Um, oh, so many things. All right, let's just do the first hop there. Set that as target. Let's go ahead and set our target. Whoa, okay. Breaking the sound barrier. Gonna be just wasting fuel doing that in this low in the atmosphere. Alright, there we go. There, alright. Start our gravity turn. I'm burning at the moon, incidentally. Start correcting a little bit of a tilt we have. And... Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. We're at a good height. Let's go ahead and get our get ourselves in. That's a, bu a bug I've noticed is that every time I switch to this view this is minimized even though I have unminimized it. Um, I am playing this in 1440p. I'm going to see how it turns out. I'm also playing this in Linux so I'm blazing, bla hopefully there's no glitches or anything. I am blazing some trails here playing a game in Linux and and recording it um, with Open Broadcaster and this this uh, 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 setup and everything. So 1440p, 2K gaming in Linux, totally doable. Let's see, there we go. I guess you guys can always downsize the stream if you need to, so there, all right. Let's get ourselves into orbit here. Let's just pour the speed, because what we need, it's about speed. Nice. Let's get rid of our first stage. Pull away. Oh, would not be Kerbal Space Program without an explosion. Look at there. All right. Stability assist. Let's pull up our nose up a little bit. Let's see. this up here. Not the most efficient way, but we did it. We had a little bit too late to start burning. Uh, that's probably good. 75, I think, is in space, so we won't get any drag. Um, still getting good reception. We'll go ahead and signal. Let's go ahead and extend our antenna. There we go. 
All right, let's have a look at our alignment here. Let's um, get our target lined up with our probe grade. Radial in, radial out, targets. Uh, well, we'll just keep an eye on the prograde, and when that when that lines up, we should be. Are we still targeting that? We are still targeting that. All right. Let's follow that around here. Uh, we've only been in a space about an hour, so that's not too bad. All right. I'm going to make a good run at our target, a good efficient run. We don't want to waste fuel here. So far, it seems to be communicating just with the ground and not with the satellites. That makes sense because um, I'm not sure how to make those into those relays only. Okay, there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I was running my mouth. All right. All right. Now we start our transfer burn. All right, this is a skipper engine. So this is kind of a test for our, um, again, for our um, heavy left system here to see how it does. This will be a good kind of system to build upon if we're going to do with probes and and outer planets and stuff like that. All right, there we go. We have an encounter. All right, let's fast forward this through. Whoa, hey, satellites. Still aren't using them, even though we were right next to them. It seems like that would be the logical choice. Hmm, curious. I guess maybe they only get used if you don't have a direct line of sight for... Um, Kerbin? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of learning about this comm system as I go. Okay. So now we need to burn retrograde to get captured by the lunar gravity. Alright. Slow ourselves down a little. Be conservative on the fuel here. Make sure we've got enough. Let's see, how high is that? We can bring that down a little. Actually, let's use our RCS. Bring that down like under 100 or so. That's pretty good, okay. Yeah, all right. Okay, get down there, and now we'll close that orbit up. Nice. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Sleazy does it. I mean, easy does it. All right. Nice, okay. Now <laughs> we could land on top of our probe, that would be funny. Uh, let's get over here and lower that down some. There we go. Uh, the reason why Inly, it was important to use Inly or another pilot is see this full crew control up here if we didn't have a pilot we wouldn't be able to like he wouldn't be able to fly the ship we had a scientist or an engineer um, so you have to be kind of selective about who you put on these one person missions um, if they can't if they're gonna be outside of communications range you need to have a pilot otherwise they wouldn't be able to fly the ship which makes sense let's see maybe a little low let's get it up a little higher you're gonna land so close to that. Let's 
just use our RCS to get us up a little bit higher. There we go. We have time to adjust things if we need to. All right, yeah, that's better. All right, let's bring ourselves around here. All right. Okay. We want to burn retro. Great. And Lee still looks excited. Good job, guy. I want to bring out as much speed as we can. So we can kill our horizontal our horizontal motion. We just want vertical up and down. There. Nice. Alright. Hey, we still have gas left in this stage. Not bad at all. Cut on the lights there. We can have them for landing. Alright. Now we just gotta fall from 20 kilometers. Let's get down a little further. Alright. I wish this was... Let's see. Yeah. Kill some of that speed. Full butter, full bore. All right. Jeez, that thing's got a kick. Let's get down a little bit further. All right. Use what's little fuels left in here to kill a good bit of our momentum. All right, let's cut that turret loose. Uh, deploy our gear. Hey, new sounds for the gear. Night, neat. And fire our last stage. Slow ourselves down so that thing can get away from us. I'm not quite sure how much space we have. Huh, <laughs> get it. So I don't want to be right on top of it when it hits. Probably should not have waited this late to cut that loose. Whoops. And you know me trying to use fuel, though. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, please keep heading away. Let's cut some speed. Jeez. <laughs> oh, would not be Kerbal Space Program without an explosion fraught landing. Yeah, it was probably a little cutting it a little close there to, to have that cut that thing loose, but that's okay. All right. Oh, whew, touchdown. Oh my goodness, here we are. Okay, all right. He looks happy. Where did we end up landing? Oh, let's cut off the lights before we drain the battery. Um, z all right, and just some flat lands here. All right, that's nice. Let's get a little EVA going out here. All right, Inley. All right, way to make an entrance. Wee! All right. Actually, clunk. I got an idea. Let's do a jumping shot here. Let's have him come around here. We've got the space thing in view. Uh, the spaceship, the rocket there. All right. Put up the RCS. All right. There we go. Get a couple of shots of the jumping Kerbo knot there. 
There we go. Okay. Episode card. Whew. This is kind of a plainy area. Let's go ahead and collect surface sample. 144. Wow. The darkest, darkish midland surface appears to be made up of basaltic rock. Keep experiment. EVA report. 38. Suddenly you feel very small. All right. Um, let's plant our flag. We'll call this um, Inley Plains. All right. <laughs> nice flat landing. <laughs> All right. Ooh, man. Let's see. Can I? Lights. Oh, that's just his helmet lights. Okay. That's not a bad view here. Well, another successful moon landing. It looks like we'll get some science back from that. Let's, uh, we haven't even used our science junior up here yet. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, he's taking his moonwalk kind of seriously. Let's uh, get up here on the ladder. Grab. There you go. Climb the hill. Climb the ladder. It's a tall spaceship, but we have a lot of science to do. But, you know, we got here with plenty of fuel to spare, so um, that's a good thing. All right, let's open up our bay. Observe materials bay. Inoperable. Wow, 120 science. Let's keep it. And let's close the doors. Um, open. Um, toggle this log. Okay, nothing on that. Bubkiss, let's take a look at this. Log temperature. Bubkiss, alright. Close enough, good enough. But, um, so, we've got Inley, we've got all of his science, we've got this. We're only 50 kilometers from the lunar lander. Um, but we did it. We have science, we have the science bay. Um, we will hopefully be able to get more parts after this. But um, I'm going to call this an episode here, and um, I will see you next time.